Today I'll be doing my first fantasy draft in Madden 23, but I can't draft any players with abilities. Let's just get right into it. This was gonna be offline. I'm gonna be playing against CPUs. It's just practice. Practice. Because when I actually do it in a real CFM, I wanna know what kind of guys I need to target. We need to slow it down. This clock is going a little too fast. Most important positions are, are wide receivers. I, I feel like you need guys that can get open. There's one guy that gets open yes, and sir. for whatever reason doesn't have abilities. I'm going with the 29 year old Tyler Lockett. Hear me out. We can still get DeAndre Hopkins. I completely forgot that he does not have abilities. Does that count? I, nah, I, we can't do that. We can't. That would have been a good finesse, but I'm not going to do it. I want to challenge myself. Denzel Ward. I like that one right there. Another guy who should have abilities. Let's go. 92 overall, 94 speed, 91 zone, and 93 man. Round number three. So we have a wide receiver and a cornerback. I think we wait on quarterback. You know what I'm saying? I think we keep shoring up either the offensive line or the secondary. Both very important things. Also, edge rushers would be nice any edge rushers without abilities let's see roquan i don't think roquan has abilities we can move this man to mlb 88 speed 91 excel 91 pursuit so pretty much i just need to be targeting guys who should have abilities but don't i'm learning man as we start round number four if you're learning too the least you could do is like the video man if i'm helping you out be helping each other why not okay i'm finding gems for you for when you get into the cfms you know what i'm saying subscribe for more tips and tricks head ass laramie tunsil this would be a nice left tackle he's only 28 88 overall really good pass block we need to protect the quarterback's blind side because there's no way i'm using a left-handed quarterback no offense to tua we got ourselves a nice lt and his initials are lt isn't that crazy oh that's insane round number five i think we have a pretty good team so far we're making sure that we fill in all the holes now do we have a d lineman i don't know if we do i think we go back to defense man d law 96 play wreck this would be a nice addition to the d line let's wait though are there any other options i mean justin simmons also does not have any abilities but he's in the 90s i have to take him i'm sorry justin simmons he's just too good round number six now that we have a safety we can worry about some other guys like odell would not be bad at all do we have a running back wait a minute playoff lenny is a monster this dude breaks so many tackles i think if we wait a little bit longer we can still get odell like i think most teams at this point have themselves a wide receiver or a bunch of wide receivers so i don't know man this is a tough one renfro one of the best slots in the league if not the best man that's another one so even if we don't get odell we can still get renfro i think right here i take playoff lenny 97 karen he's not going to turn it over tight end wise we still have some sleepers we can wait oh yeah we definitely have some sleepers i'm not even worried about it just looking around the league we still have betonio now if we go for lineman right here these top three to four five running backs will be gone by the next time we're back here so i don't know like can we get it done with a javante a connor maybe i think you know what i think we could i don't think you need an elite running back when's the last time an elite running back took you to the promised land we're going with joel betonio 90 overall left guard o-line gets a nice boost we still have the option to take odell i feel like that'll be a luxury pick though i really do I, I think we have to look at maybe quarterback that's a very important position now there's one that i really like of course it is Jalen because then you you know what i'm saying he can scramble i, I love that i like kirk and maddie ice they're just old that's the problem like i i want this to be maybe a year two three cfm you know so i'm practicing for that you know i, I want to make sure i'm thinking long term so you know what i, I think i go Jalen. i i know it's a homer pick but tell me the other options matter of fact let's go back who would you guys take in this situation quarterback jimmy g's an option he's an option Jameis is an option but i think hurts has the whole like out of all these ones left i don't know i, I think hurts has to be the guy that's just me so odell is gone but it's all good. I like Renfro a lot. One of the best slots in the league. I don't even have to think twice about this. Let's go. That's a good, my first good pick of the video comes in round eight. No way he should be a normal. He's, I'm the biggest advocate that he should have some abilities. If not, at least star. I like Trey. Denzel, Dante, Hightower. This is, this is tough. This is where it gets really tough. We need another cornerback. That'll be good. Casey Hayward. He does not have abilities. He's 32 though. He's a little old. Is there anybody else? Adrian Amos does not have abilities. I'm like 99% sure. Clock is ticking. I gotta go with him. I know we drafted a safety earlier, but look at that. Another good pick. Final look at the roster, man. We ended up in 85 overall. As you can see, no abilities man we have playoff lenny jd mckissick as our two running backs i like that duo renfro lockett watkins as a speedster i got a very underrated tight end dalton schultz have a nice blocking tight end behind him max williams o-line is pretty good i would say d tackle number two we have to guy who i'm not the biggest fan of but you know jacob martin maybe he could slide over we'll see but i like my secondary three guys at an 88 or above simmons ward and amos so these are a lot of sleepers now there are some that i missed that have star dev but first fantasy draft let's see how far they can go oh he's struggling 
Two and five halfway through the season. Not sure what's going on this season. We have to turn things around, or at least help them. Tyler Lockett's gonna do the honors first down. Remember, this is a fantasy draft. So you have guys like Josh Allen on the Falcons, man. I completely forgot. Like we're not just playing the regular Falcons. So we're losing the all-star teams that have abilities, but there are no excuses. And it's really not that serious. This is not the real thing, okay? This is just the warm up for later this year. I'm not sure when. The more likes I see, the faster I'll do an online CFM. Maybe make it a sub one. Fourth and six, I draft. Drafted him early. I have to go to him, man. Hunter Renfro, I'm looking at you. Please come and clutch right here, especially if his man coverage. He's not open, but square is. Tyler Lockett drops it. He's dumping it off. Perryman getting beat out there. I'm worried about our linebackers. Here comes the run. How's our run defense doing? Right there, we looked a little silly. Huge chance to get off the field on his third and one. It's a handoff. And somehow ETN breaks the tackle. Either we trade for a D tackle or we trade for a linebacker. Beautiful sack. I was just saying we can't start him. Let me take back everything I said. <laughs> One drive on offense and defense. That's all we could do. We're going to super sim the rest. We got absolutely destroyed 35 to 16. They end up 6 and 11. So this is what a team of players with no abilities would do on their own. End of the season stats. Hurts didn't have the best year. Okay, 27 touchdowns, but 13 interceptions. Playoff Lenny, 16 touchdowns, 1,300 yards. So our run game was good. This is a guy I might need to target. I know I can do what I can with Hurts. Like if I'm using him every single game i think i can put up better numbers than that he's not the best sim quarterback so his stats aren't going to look that good lock it i expected him to get a thousand yard season he did that run for was five yards away from that that's another good option so these two guys 100 quez will probably be gone within the first few rounds because he has so much speed schultz that's another sleeper so we're just you know we're looking at the team looking at what they put up i like dj reed he got a lot of tackles denzel ward five interceptions that's a guy who could go really early even though he doesn't have abilities that's someone i might target in the early rounds Roquan, of course, another guy, Trey Hendrickson. This is why, man, I knew they'd be near the top of the stat leaders because they're just that good, even though they don't have any abilities. So there you have it, man. Mahomes wins MVP. Let's just get an insane amount of likes, okay? There's a number in my head. If we reach that number, I'll start the CFM as soon as possible. It'll be a sub CFM with my own money, just like we did last year. And I'll pick maybe like 25 of you guys because I got some homies that might want to play. But yeah, man, let's just get a crazy amount of likes. We'll make it happen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on the next one.